This is the Bennington Show on a Wednesday coming up a little later on. A dish, dish, dish. Do we know if um, Danny uh, will be bringing up Demi Lovato's latest thing? I don't think he has uh, that piece of dish. He she uh, has now said that she's non-binary. She's gender fluid. And I don't know what pronouns she's using. Those, that's the latest thing that people get into. I think it's they, them. They, them is what she's using as her pronouns now, which is that's confusing it? to me. Yeah. Well, she's saying she's both, or they are saying okay. they are both. Okay. Even though they never even let on anything was happening before. No. And never. before they went California sober. California sober. Now, California uh, Earl, what pronouns are you point? using for yourself? I'm using he and me. He and me. That's your pronoun. So I should say me is here. Do you understand what I'm saying, Earl? Earl, you're going to make us sound like cavemen, okay? It's fucking, it's fucked up, all right? <laughs> me is here, Chris. Chris. Me is going to the market. Me loves beans. Me lie. Come with the beans, Earl. Stop mm -hmm. it with the fucking beans all day. Now, we, I gotta draw a line the on thing. the me pronoun. I go by he and him, but mm -hmm. when I'm with my friends, I demand that we are called the pride, like it, lions. Oh, that's cool. That we're a pride of lions. Oh. I didn't tell you guys this. I had to stay on the phone with Fez today because he had to go past the place where he died. He had to go back oh, to the no. DMV, and that's where his heart stopped. So he wanted me on the phone to distract him, sure. you know, somebody to talk to. But it was not easy for him to walk past it. I couldn't imagine. That must be scary as shit. <laughs> I know, but he didn't, you know what I mean? I mean, you could take it the opposite direction and said, I fucking beat death. But that's not his way. You know what I mean? He um, he felt a little bad going by it. He said he'd been putting it off for a while, but he wanted to get the handy capable, I call it handy capable parking that sure. he has earned for himself. You're a, you're a good friend for doing that for him. Right? Not really. That's not a hard thing to do. A good friend would help someone move, and I would refuse. <laughs> I'm not going to help someone load shit into a truck. I'm not that good of a friend to anybody. Even, not even myself. When I move, I come in later and go, did they drop everything off? Good. A bad friend asks you to help them move. That's what I'm going to throw that out there. Wow, I've never even thought of that before. So you're saying it's not so much you're the bad friend, it's a bad person who asks their friends to help them move. What else crosses that line? Because I like where you're going with this, Chris, and this could be the start of a me help book that <laughs> Earl could put out. Uh, what else does a bad friend do? A bad friend asks for over... Eight hundred dollars borrowed. Like if it's over eight hundred bucks, bad friend. Because I think it's so seven hundred's fine with you. Seven hundred's fine, but then eight hundred, you're getting too close to a fucking G stack, and that's fucking All right. no. Or what's too much money to ask for? This is interesting. I was just say a thousand dollars. Okay, as close as you can get without making it interesting. Um. Have you ever given somebody $1,000, Earl? Yes, I have. Who? My brother. Okay, that's, that's family. Different. That's not friends. That's, family. that's a We're whole friend, fucking friend. different... That's a whole different deal. Totally different. Now, um, actually, Vito, you had actually asked about this before. I did, because uh, a f about a few months ago, I lent somebody exactly $496. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was furious to even be asked, and I felt forced into saying yes. And then it's just been months of me just being anxious and constantly being told, "Oh, the money, the money's coming today." Oh, like, don't worry about it. I'm the fuck you, Chris. Yeah, 
Now, here's the thing. I'm going to help you. I wish you would have talked to me before this happened. When you lend a friend or even more so, like Earl said, a family member money, you have to consider that I am giving my money away because you will, I'm going to say most likely, but in my case, have never been repaid. Even when people say, wow. you know, I'm good for it. Thank you. I promise you I'll get this back. And then I will never hear them bring it up to me. And I just think, yes, I know. You were lying that day and it's fine. I don't care. And I only think the reason that you're saying 800, Chris, is it shows you where you are in life, <laughs> where the money hurts. You know what I mean? Because people be only think, like if you had a million, you wouldn't care about 800. No, you know what I mean? No, that but you'd be, be like, <laughs> hey, 80,000 is starting to fucking really get to be a problem. You know? <laughs> um, Vito, this fucking 496 fucking guy who stuck you in the fucking neck with this. How close are you to this person? Uh, I used to, we used to live together. Uh, when I graduated college, mm, um, mistake. and it is one of my best friends for the last 10 years. And then he even got another, it's actually, it's, it's above 496. It's 496 plus 25 because at one point he said, Hey, can you send me $25? Uh, I think I'm having an issue with the app. I'll send it right back. And then I did that and immediately realized I'm never seeing this $25 again. You're never seeing it again. Even if I get the 496 back, I'm never seeing the 25. Dude, the 496 is gone. It's gone. You're never getting it back. Now, either. is your friendship worth 500? At this moment, at this moment I'm I'm really on the fence about it. I'm okay. I have no idea if it's it pains me to say, but I don't know. I don't think I can let $500 go. I will say this. Well, you you have let it go. I mean, what are you going to do? Beat the guy up? Because he's not fucking coming up with it. Your old friend has decided your friendship was worth $500 to him. Now, here's the beautiful part of it. You got this bum out of your fucking life now. They're gone. You learned a fucking lesson and it only cost you a half a fucking G. But that, I don't, I didn't want to pay $500 for that lesson. Next time you won't. Exactly. Next time you will say to that person, what you're asking me is not worth our fucking friendship. I'm not a bank. I'm not your fucking family. Vito, could I borrow $420? I mean, when, I, when I, can you give it back to me? <laughs> Just don't worry about it. I mean, I need the cash and then, you know, we'll take care of that. Chris, later. I would really like to lend you the $400, but you keep saying don't worry about Four hundred twenty dollars. I know, but you keep saying don't worry about it. Like if you can, if you can give me a date, I, I could probably lend it to you. Cash at me, Vito. I, how much are you going to confront this motherfucker? Uh, and and how much time before that happens? Because you haven't done it yet. I, sh I should have brought this up. He moved away two days ago. So you're fucking <laughs> done, dude. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh, he moved uh, down south to North Carolina, and um, he lived across the street from me. We actually ended up living recently across the street from each other. So there was ample time to meet up and give me my money back. Yeah. And then one day he called me and said, oh, I have good news. I just got a new job. I'm moving. I'm moving next week. And uh, I, just, I just had to be like, that's cool, and didn't bring up the money. So that's on me. You weren't going to get in anyway. It's gone. I just need that money. I know you do. I pay rent now. Mm -hmm. I fucking pay for my laundry. I know. I have to go to the bank and get quarters for my laundry. Strap it Groceries. off. Groceries. Fucking, it's just, it all adds up. And then I just think about this $496 plus $25. You know how many Mets games that is? That's 20. That's 20 Mets games. I've done the math. Now, Earl, would you have uh, lent a friend money? Yeah, depending on the friend. 
Like if it's, you know, someone I've known a long time, very long yeah. time. Yeah, I would do it. Well, don't someone, you always say never a borrower or lender be? Isn't that your motto? It's words to live by. Have you ever borrowed money from somebody and not paid them back? I have done that, and I feel bad about it. And I would love to rectify it. There's a way to solve that. Now, how much money was it? It's two grand. Two thousand dollars? Yeah. Two G stacks. Wow. Now, aren't you glad that you're not closer with Earl? Vito. Hell yeah. That's you're a bad person, Earl. Two G's? And yeah, you just and you're yeah. just saying you feel bad about this instead of paying back this person the two thousand dollars. Can I tell you something? I believe Earl probably jacked somebody and took fucking two G's from him. I bet it was an old lady on her way to pay her fucking mortgage. Earl fucking sees her, hits her in the back of the fucking ear with a sock full of hot fucking quarters, goes through that pocketbook and runs down the street. And Earl, every time I see you, you're wearing something new. You're always fucking looking fucking sharp. You're right. Can I tell you something, Earl? Most days I see you, you know who I say you look like? Nino Brown. That's how fucking flash you are. Fucking New Jack. Cash money brother. Earl brought, bought like a $2,000 camera once, like right when he started working at Sirius. You're like a camera. I remember that. You were so fucking proud of that camera. Mm -hmm. You're like, I got it for a little over two grand. It took me a year to pay the thing off. You should have paid yeah. off the fucking two grand before you went out and bought a camera. You don't pay shit off, bro. You just take. He says it took me a year to pay off, but you were already two grand in the hole when you fucking did this. I'm having a hard time hearing this fucking story. <laughs> I'm, I'm now starting I'm to believe smart. that a lot I'm of the a... shit that a lot of the shit that Hard Rock Johnny says about you is fucking true. Not proud of it. Seems like you are by going, hey, check out this new fucking camera. All right. Um, here's the thing, Vito. You're not going to see your money back. But at least this fucking scumbag that ripped you off is not as fucking ballsy as Earl Douglas. No. Earl disgusts me. I never thought I would be this turned off and disgusted by Earl Douglas. But to Wait. hear him tell us about $2,000 and then act like he feels bad about it when there's an easy way to fucking make up for this. Well, wait a minute. Didn't you see the kind of pizza he eats? He's yeah. already fucking proven himself to be <laughs> antisocial. Well, well, well. Look who's on the phone here. Our own Fez Watley. Hello, pronouns uh, yours, mine, and ours. Fez oh, Watley nice. here. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fez. Hello. Um. um, I just found it interesting that Earl set the limit at one thousand dollars that he would loan to a friend. Um, especially after it was me who gave him the two thousand dollars. What the no. fuck? Is that true? It is true. Yes. I haven't seen a dime of it. All I got was a sucky birthday poem. How long ago was that, Fez? Oh, uh, that, I think it went back to the N.E.W. days. You're fucking kidding me. That's like fucking no. 17 years ago. Yeah, that's 17 years of interest compounded Fezley. Now... Earl, <laughs> in 17 years, you couldn't buy back, you couldn't pay back 2000 and you feel bad, even though you bought a fucking $2,000 camera and paid it off? Like I said, I feel, I feel horrible about, look, I, I just feel horrible about it. I just, but there's you know, a way the to not feel horrible, it's to pay back, like, no, no, you don't no, have to live with this way. On, the, the more, like, I, mean, I can't really even broach the subject anymore. Just How do you broach the ashamed. subject is here, I owe you money. Here's what, the money. What, are you money. embarrassed? <laughs> you think he forgot? He just called yeah. us now. After 17 years, he called us. 
And I have no memory after uh, dying recently. And oh, but that that one stuck in the memory bank. Sure. Fezzi, if, if it's any consolation, I would like to make it right and pay you back. Well, really. You you had seventeen years to make it right. I, First of all, the no, I mean, like, I, you say, I no, I am ashamed and disgusted with myself over this. It's yes. been it's been like a sword over my head for a very very long time, and I want to make it right. I really do. But why didn't you pay him ten here, twenty five here, fifty there? I, you know, I, I couldn't explain it. I really can't. I mean, I mean, I just don't. Like, like I said, just the longer it went on, the longer. Like, how even... I will tell you this, Gail. You forgot. I'm obviously friends with both of them. I've never heard this fucking story before today. I'm fucking. It's this so, is so strange. Funny to me because how many times have they been together over the last fucking seventeen years? I know. Yeah. All this started because Vito. They don't bring you back to life for free. Oh, I know. I know. You've been nothing but behind the fucking eight ball over the years. Now, here's the thing. This came up because Vito lent a friend money and the guy actually moved away. He fucking pulled what we now call an Earl Douglas. He fucking moved and uh, he ain't paying Vito. Vito's like kind of freaked about it. And I'm like, your money's gone. You're not going to go beat the guy up, but the money's going. Right. This guy decided this is what you're worth. Now, at the time, did you go to Fez and say, dude, I need two G's? Yes. I mean, like, I was, it, was, it was just a really kind of weird period in my life. And, you know, I get it came it, through but, for me and I really I know, it. but let me just ask this. Why didn't you go to Ronnie B? You went for the uh, soft fucking touch, didn't you? You went for the soft fucking underbelly, Fez Watley. Because you're like, oh, fuck. I didn't know what I, I was doing. Yeah. He, here's the thing. He would have lent that money to me and pulled this fucking routine. His head would have been on a swivel. I'd have come out of a fucking bowl of rice. Uh, <laughs> here's the deal, Earl. You fucking purposely didn't pay him back. Figure out the you big must right have now. been so thrilled, Earl, when I moved away. Uh, hey, uh, Chris, figure out the vig. Fucking, if somebody on the street lent him two grand back in which I'm guessing is like 2003, 2004, <laughs> maybe even 2002, figure out the vig on that. Okay. Now, Fez, has it bothered you? Has it irked you that he hasn't brought it up? Or did you just drop it? Well, I, yeah, you have to drop it. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you consider it just lost money. But, you know, maybe I didn't say anything, but it's not like I didn't think it every time I saw Earl's face. Oh, my God. Oh, this is awful. Earl, how you do you can live forgive, with yourself? but it's hard to forget. You don't. You don't live with yourself. That's the problem. That was. That's why it's been wrong. You, you're so. This is <laughs> you, you feeling sorry for yourself again. No, I'm. Feeling, <laughs> I feel bad that he feels bad. That's what I feel bad about. But you've had the money, dude. You've had the money. I'm not saying you got it right now, but over the last 17 years, you've had the money. You've taken trips. I've taken any trips in the last 17 years. You know me, I love New York. Okay. You haven't had that got any to do fucking, with it. You haven't had any money <laughs> in 17 years. Not a fucking um, dime. Going yeah. on a 5% VIG, and that's weekly interest, Earl would owe Fez $95,000 from 2003. Can I tell you something? I don't know who the fuck you borrow money from on the street. 5% ain't fucking happening. There's no such yeah. thing as 5% on the street. That's very generous. Visa and MasterCard is getting 24% off of you. Mm. Come on. You know what? This is crazy. Hey, I'll tell you something right now. I'll buy this fucking loan off you for 500 <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> Fez, and I will fucking take the 92 out of this motherfucker. I'll be on him constantly. I'll be down there every day. And then he's bragging about not taking tips at the fucking Hard Rock. He's like, no, please, I can't take a tip. Give it to one of the girls. You owe fucking Fez money. I was just trying I to, honestly, you know. I honestly thought when he took that hard rock gig and he was living with his parents that yeah. he took the second job to try to pay me back. That was actually in the back of my mind. Can I tell you something, Fez? You're the most naive sucker I've ever heard of in my life. I mean, you should have cotton candy and a fucking balloon right now because you are a mark walking down the fucking midway. And this fucking con man that you fucking that believed befriended you i'm sure he mm -hmm. sweet talked that fucking money right out of your fucking pocket oh yeah and i mean i didn't even get oral favors for it that's a shame should have got something something right sure is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna and you're a christian Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not, at the moment not a very good one, yes. No, you're the worst I've ever heard of. And that fucking includes Judas. <laughs> well, what stunned me is that when Ronnie asked the original question, how much is too much to ask for a friend to borrow? And you said $1,000. And I'm like, whoa, he took me for double what he oh. actually thinks is bad. But here's the thing. He was talking about somebody he respects. Obviously, Fez, oh. he has zero respect for you. That's, that's not Were true. you so helping that one of those heart attacks would have killed Fez and you'd be fucking free and clear? Oh, my no. God. No. Absolutely. No one knew. Then you would owe that to his family. I would, have paid, uh, I would have paid to offset anything, and I still do that now. Wait a minute. How, how would you have paid to offset it? Whatever, you, what know, you, you know, God forbid if he had passed away, I would have given that towards the funeral. How? How would you have done you that? You wouldn't give it to him. A fucking he would have enjoyed that money in, now. In 17 but, years. Yeah, now you I'm really wrong. have such faith in yourself that you would have stepped up and said, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the funeral, please. Even if it took you forever, if you just had set aside a dollar a day, like think about how fa how much more clear you'd be feeling. Seven now. years, hey, ten years ago he'd have paid it off at a dollar a day. Yeah, ten <laughs> fucking bet. years That's... ago. And yeah, now I mean, he I mean... wants to throw in two grand towards my funeral and look like the hero. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Really, then he gets oh, all. He's yeah. not going to say, I owed him this. He's going to be like, you yeah. know what? I, this is from the bottom of my heart. I want to do something. And then Fez's sister would be like, Oh, did you know Fez's friend Earl from New York? He gave us $2,000. He's a wonderful man. He's such a good man. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. this is really going to help us with the flowers. <laughs> Fez would haunt you for that. You sick fucking sociopath. I, I'm like, hey, I'm offering to pay off my. I'm, I have a debt. It took me a long Wait time. Wait a minute. You say that I'm you're offering. offering. 17 I'm, years I'm, has gone by. I'm, I never even heard of this until Fez just called. And then you're like, hey, hey, guys. I'm fucking on. I'm putting up right now. I'm offering. Gil yeah, that's not fucking right. killed me with the dollar a day. How quickly you could have paid this off in 2,000 short days without once thinking about it. No. And he would have accepted that and probably thought, oh man, it really took him some time to save that up. But he made good on this. I would have taken it in singles. <laughs> Each day. <laughs> Every day, get a dollar. That'd be nice. Then you go out, get yourself a nice fucking jawbreaker or a fucking <laughs> pixie stick. Sure. Maybe buy a loose fucking cigarette somewhere. 
Earl, do you know how you'd be limping if you would have fucking burnt me for 2000 I'd have broke, broke your kneecaps, then your fucking ankles, fucking balls of your feet. I have no I'd popped off each fucking toe. And now you're laughing your ass off at Fezbo. I'm not laughing at Fezzy. He loves it. You know what? Literally to the day when I think about Fez's first fucking heart attack, did you get him before or after, Earl? It was, I believe it was after. After. You fucking went up to a guy who had just had a heart attack while he's there with the fucking tubes in his nose and said, give me a couple I of grand did, I, or I'll punch you right not. in the fucking chest. Let's face it, you bullied him out of this money. I, no, I did not. I wondered you, why when he came to visit me in the hospital, he said, by the way, where's your wallet? <gasps> Holy shit. Mm. No, not, not, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this is this just last been... heart attack number Shocking. seven. I flatlined twice, and all I said was, "It's nice and peaceful here, but I got unfinished business, and my hands coming up through the dirt out of that grave." I fucking am so proud of you for that, Fez. Coming back from the death to get your fucking mm -hmm. money. And look how quiet fucking Vito is because he realizes, right? Now, he sees close up how much that person cares about him. Because here's an Earl who for 17 years hasn't given a fuck about Fez. Not one. Oh, you're a bad person. I want to thank you, Vito, for bringing up the subject. I want to apologize Earl, to that you, That Earl Fez. found so hard <laughs> to uh, figure out what to say. You said it in two seconds. I, I feel so bad for you, Fez, that this honestly monster came in your life and swindled you. And I wish nothing but bad things on Earl now. All for you. <laughs> You don't at least admire Earl's balls. I mean, it's one thing to be a grifter of strangers, but to pull in one of what I would consider best friends and fucking paste that fucker for two grand and then go hang around him after that without once saying, look, dude, I know I owe you that money. Merry Christmas. Don't worry. It's coming. No, I couldn't. Lo I, I honestly, the guilt. I would never be able to see that person again. Either I'd have to pay it or I'd never be able to see them again. I can't imagine just spending time with that person and and pretending as though it didn't happen. I almost feel like what Earl tried to do was kill him in his own way. Through stress. The perfect crime. <laughs> dollar at a time. Yeah, dollar at a time. Dollar a day. Dollar store. That's how he looks at fucking Fez Watley. <laughs> This the old pay less. No one pays less than Earl Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Earl's That's a social I, I, don't, I, don't, I honestly know there's a lot of people who never know whether the, there's the fucking show is a worker or a shoot. I swear to you, I have no memory of this. And the fact the two of them do must have met Earl fucking said to Fez, hey, I need to borrow some money. Don't tell the guys or anything. Let's keep this between me and you. Knowing that Fez is good to his word. You know what I mean? I know. Really taking advantage of his empathy and charitable nature. Sure. And have I ever in 17 years brought it up to either you, Ronnie, or Gail? Never, Never once heard I, it. I, Never once first heard I'm it. hearing it. Now, let me just say this. Did he say, can I borrow money? Or did he let on, I'll keep your gay secret to myself? Because back then, you weren't even out yet. <laughs> That's not right. And like, oh. everyone knows. In those days, back in the early 2000s, they would have destroyed him in the radio business. Fez Watley would have been out of the radio business so fucking fast. Oh, yeah. And Earl yeah. knew it. Earl knew it. Basically, you were blackmailed. By a black male, <laughs> in this case. That's the ironic part. Yeah. You'd never expect that, would you? Earl, here's what I say. Let's let Now, let's keep this quiet for the next 17 years. Let's not say a word of it for 17 years. 
Because I got the cicada be gone by that time. Every time the fucking cicadas come out, oh. it's fucking literally a seventeen-year thing. Earl Cada. Earl Cada. <laughs> and that kind of sounds like Al Qaeda. And what? What have you been buried underground all this time, hatching fucking eggs? Ew, letting man. them fly Ew. out and get some more money from people. And you're not even that good at flying once you do come out. <laughs> you're just confused hey, and disoriented. In, in Earl's defense, he used this money for cocaine and heroin. So, oh. okay, well. Oh, great. I see. Yeah. He had what is called back then a monkey on his dick. <laughs> You're ball zero. No, 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 I'm yeah, very no one small like it. Right I'll give you that. I say this: you're fucking street smart. You know the guy that fucking hit on the kind one. Mm -hmm. no, no, I'm not that smart. Ronnie. Could you imagine if you, hey, could you imagine if you would have tried to get that money from me or Opie or Anthony? We'd have fucking been on your dick every fucking day, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, he knew who to come to. See, that really upsets me. That he targeted Fez that way. Sure. That's Who twice. Wouldn't? That's that's twice this has happened in my lifetime. Where a good friend took me for money. The other was BL. Oh, yeah. 10 Gs. BL stole 10 Ooh. grand from me. And Ooh. she is persona non grata. Oh Earl, I at least stayed friendly with. I will say this. I normally can convince... I'm like Earl. I can convince Fez of anything. But I've never been able to talk him even to talking to BL again. You know what I mean? And never. I try all the time. I go, what if we just fucking hang out or we just do a thing? I'll be there. No, absolutely not. And yet Earl is able to... Like he says, be ready to fucking come in and wet his beak again. He's a king grifter. <laughs> no, I, like I said, I feel like I feel like garbage. I really do. No, you no. don't. You're smiling. No, it's I'm fine not smiling. You, I am not hey, smiling. Can I tell you something, Earl? Oh, I fucking, I accept you the way you are. You're a guy who yeah. fucking doesn't care. I accept Vito's but, friend. I blame anybody in life. I blame Vito. And fucking Fez, because they, you know, they thought it would be easier to fucking give this guy money than have the uncomfortability go on. And you did, I mean, you were laughing. You did find it funny. You found it as funny as an attack on Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. No, I, thought the, I thought the pillow fight was funny and playful. But then when I found out it was a can opener, and I was like, okay, that's like... Reinforces whatever you reference. Dude, we can go did. back and listen to it, and we will hear you laugh at the fucking when I say can opener. Chris he is, is a toxic fuck, fuck, isn't he? Yeah. All right, we got to get uh, dish going. Fez, first of all, let me yeah. say this: A, I'm proud of you for walking past your death spot today. That was very, very courageous, and triggering is a real thing when you go back to where. I mean, your heart stopped and you had to walk through that physical space and it brought it all back. Yeah. And um, Good job, Fezzi. I'm, I'm proud of you for that. Now, I'm also ashamed of you for having Earl steal $2,000 from you and BL steal 10000 from you. I mean, I'm, <laughs> quite frankly, I'm absolutely ashamed. I mean, how much of a rube am I to get taken by those two uh, rubes? Yeah, no kidding. I mean, two of the dumbest people I've ever met ripped you off for fucking money. Six grand each, really, between the two of them. Which, I wouldn't even be surprised if those two aren't working together somehow. They are. You know what I mean? Sure. All right. We got to go do dish, buddy. Uh, talk to you soon. Fez Watley. Yeah. The $2,000 man. Um the easy touch. <laughs> Look at the smile on fucking Earl's face. He loves you it. care oh, zero, kidding. dude. Tell me oh where my to God. tell me where to send the money, please. I will pay you. Back. Chris what are you talking about? For seventeen me. fucking years, you know where to send the money. Why is it my fucking job? Why would that be my job? 
<laughs> it isn't. Give him the P.O. You could have handed Rob, it to me. <laughs> sure he has Venmo. All right, guess That's what, Fez? Point. I just got a text that said fuck from BL. <laughs> just fuck. Yeah, Look, they're, uh, they've, all, they've both been exposed today. Don't you like the way that Earl just turns around and makes it somebody else? Tell me what, tell me what to do. You're like a child. You're a fucking full-grown man. You don't want to take care of your fucking self. Nobody fucking owes you to give out a thing. Nobody well, owes you a fucking. What are you gonna do? Go take it from another person? Oh, I'm trying to make. You can't just right. go through life letting your parents. You were not trying to make pizza, it right. You know what I mean? You can't. You know, you gotta grow up and do it yourself. 17 years this has gone by and we wouldn't have heard about it unless Fez called. I was fucking amazed when Fez called. I thought he was calling about the thing that happened today of him going to the DMV. I was stunned when he said a person should only lend a thousand. I had to call. I got an update from BL. She just said, shove that cash up your virgin ass, Watley. Why is she not oh, okay. virginity? Right, yeah. Look. Yeah, where uh, my 10 grand went into the latest facelift over on the uh, leather face there. All right. But please be at least a little bit angry with Earl. Not all of it aimed at BL. Oh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm furious, and and I really wanted to call to warn Vito, stay away. Where are the two suckers here? Stay away. He's going to try to get the two grand out of you to send to me and keep this uh, check-kiting scheme of his going. <laughs> he did save you. <laughs> How does that Vito? work? How do you kite these checks? <laughs> you have one check just always. You imaginary yeah. money from one source yeah. to another. It's like Bitcoin. Yeah, he basically is Bitcoin right now. <laughs> Earl With coin. Earl, it's Dodgecoin instead of Doge. It's Dodge. <laughs> I'm dodging the guy I owe. Earl, you want to go out, sell yourself as a male prostitute, and then beat up that John. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get mm-hmm. the money. Boogie Nights. Scene. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear a word they're saying. I got a sick boy, mister. I got to get this back here to him. I got a sick boy I got to take care of. And then he's fucking taking the bus with Fez. Fez pisses himself and then dies in the bus by fucking Earl's got his arm around him. Yeah. Right, so. Fez o Rizzo. (laughs) Fade to black roll credits. Oh my god, what a movie. It's all good. What a fucking movie. All right, we're really running late on Dish. What is it? We also uh, have a live read that I sent you guys. Why don't we well, just do I'll that? I'll take early? a $2,000 dish, please. <laughs> I uh, have never said this before, but I would love to say to the, uh, each listener please don't ask me anything more about Earl or Fez, whether it was at, was at work, whether it was a shoot. I will tell you this. I would never trust Earl to be part of a work. That's how much. (laughs) That's how you know that it's a shoot. If it's a work, it's a work on Earl. That's when there will be a work. Like, oh, Earl didn't know that you guys were going to do that. That happens quite a bit. But is it ever going to be me and Earl are going to uh, fool Gail and Chris No, that's never going to happen. Or the bit would turn into me. God damn it, Earl. You fucking promised me that you would pay attention. You know what I mean? I I wouldn't do that to myself. Also, if I knew that this thing took place 17 years ago of of Earl beating Fez out of $2,000, I'd have been busting both their balls for 17 years. I feel like I'm the fucking Rube in this. For yeah, never no. catching yeah. whatever little uneasy tension exists. Now, so we just found out yesterday that Earl borrowed $2,000 from Fez and then uh, it just and never paid him back and it came out. And this is supposedly like 17 years. By the way, 
what I described, please, if you missed it, go to On Demand because it's a mind fuck. And it's it really fucking was. believable the way this thing rolls out. Um, and what what why Fez called in and got mad is because uh, you know Vito said how much money is too much for someone to ask you to borrow, and Earl said a thousand, and apparently Fez was listening to the show. And his fucking head exploded. <laughs> and then, I don't even know, I, I really didn't even fill you guys in on this. And then he screamed out that BL owes him 10000 And then she got fucking mad. So all these things are fucking exploding up and down the East That's Coast. Crazy. All because it was, Vito had his own problems and everybody took it over. It stopped being about Vito completely. <laughs> now people are writing to me mad because Earl did this thing that they're angry about and then we go and buy him a fucking Cheetos cake, which was it because... That was beforehand. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know. And this was, by the way, uh, we need, you, you don't get a thank you out of Earl and, and I don't mind because it was Chris that was behind this, thought of the idea, mm -hmm. send it to him. And then Chris just said, this fucking guy... He, does, he can't even give me a thank you. And I said the same thing. I go, you can't do things for a thank you. No. It doesn't work that have, way. The world doesn't work that. that way. Lesson learned. I feel uh, like if you want to see uh, Earl, for some reason, unboxing his Cheetos cake instead of just um, <laughs> eating it. <laughs> We well, he's like sit. a social we, media influencer, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. we watch a man open a box. It's not really all that fun. Um, the Cheetos There's a lot cake, to unpack, and it's yeah. not just the cake when you watch this video, by the way. Now, Earl also, let me see Earl, because I want to ask him. Uh, Earl, also, you complained that the boxing had been done wrong. Hoagie Dom blames that on you for opening this thing with a knife instead of correctly, like with a razor. He thought you taking a kitchen knife, shaking it back and forth, uh, attacked the plate. And Hoagie Dom knows more about food preparation, you know, great food, more yes. than anyone I know. And I know fucking people on the Food Network. And Hoagie Dom's a million times better than anyone on the fucking amazing. Food Network. So you might have done that to your, the cake yourself, Earl. I, I, I also blame UPS because apparently, you know, because UPS sucks in general. They just suck. And there's a reason why the company color is brown. You know, they, apparently they were tossing this thing around like a, like a Frisbee. So I, I, it's, I completely... You were holding the box up, Earl. You held yeah. the box up to Everybody? the camera. You weren't being delicate with a cake. You know you had a cake coming, right? Can I just say, I also yeah. can't trust somebody who cuts the cake with the same knife that they open the package with. Dude. Oh. And I also take umbrage with somebody who cuts a cake that's still in a box. You take the cake out. Take it out. There's a presentation and then you cut the cake. You're sawing at it from the top. I understand the top already looked ruined, but it's still, Every, it, it was a little thing that bugged Earl, me. this is what Earl complains about. That he says he can't do anything around you people. Is there a reason, Earl, that you think you can't even open up a box and then enjoy your cake? Well, the the in the end, the the back end of the box was very, very, very loose and flimsy. It almost fell apart. That's why I tried to take it out, and it was starting to go. I was like, "Let it go. Just open it right from the box Chris, before the thing." This, this is his way of saying thank you to him. You sent him oh, a shitty okay. box and a shitty UPS truck. Yeah, I shitty know. cake. <laughs> I know. I'm the problem. Of his favorite I, food. I, I, of his favorite food. Exactly. Of his precious yeah. fucking mm -hmm. Cheez-Its that I bought him multiple, 40 bags of. No thank Never you. Never got so Get much him. as a thank you. Get him a limited edition. I was fucking on the website of Gold Belly fucking at noon. So fucking get that cake immediately. Immediately. Sent to fucking Earl. And he says, oh, the UPS fucked it up. Da, 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 da. Yes, no, yes, bro. I'm, You're I'm fucking you waving here. that box around. I'm pissed at you, P.S. I am what? not pissed off at you, Chris. Did Why you do I should think about you? Love First of all, the cake? he's the one who I picked said, UPS. You can I, pick whatever fucking delivery service you want. So that's like you 
spitting into his asshole and then telling him that he must have sharded. it. If you're going to spit in my asshole, eat it out, Earl, okay? Don't fucking tell me I fucking sharded, bro. Would you be willing to do that, Earl? Before or after dinner, Chris? <laughs> oh! oh I don't even know what it means, but I like it. He's overweight. Fucker. Yeah, I have a weight problem, okay? I have a weight. Why bring that up, you fattest asshole, okay? Fucking is that fat a term? shamer. It is now. Is, yeah. I, I hey, can, can I, go ahead, Vito. I consider myself an expert when it comes to cake. I've mm -hmm. oh, that's true. I've I've cut I forgot that. I've cut thousands of cakes, okay? And I'm not exaggerating. That's a real number. You can put that on the board. <laughs> okay. We we don't have a board, but okay. I, I saw this garbage thing there, that Earl brought out and I am convinced that he destroyed that cake because the icing was a fondant icing. If you've ever dealt with fondant before, it is basically a rock hard structure that is hard to cut. I think Earl tried to cut the cake, realized he didn't start filming, and then put it back and blamed it on the delivery. Because that's what happens Maybe. when you cut a fondant cake poorly. Now, I also, I, would, you know, I know the packaging would, of Gold Belly, yeah. and I was wondering. Did you maybe put it in the fridge and then take it out? Did you put something on top of it that could have crushed it in some way? It went straight into the freezer once it was delivered. I, I will say this. Uh, normally, I would say Vito was being paranoid. But after Earl pulled out the fucking $2,000 long fucking con, anything could be, anything could happen. That's anything. true. Anything. Ron, also, you sent me so much delicious gold belly. Not once was it, it damaged. Oh, I loved it. And I thanked you right away. I didn't go <laughs> I make did. a video before I even spoke yeah. to you. I By thanked the way, you. Yeah. Not only that, but then you and your mom were so sweet in those videos. Thank so you, sweet. Bennington Show. Thank you. you. And now here's Earl. UPS fucking blows. Um, did you enjoy the cake even slightly, Earl? Because you didn't tell anyone if you did. I enjoyed the cake, uh, with the exception of the, what the whatever that thing, the, the icing, the, whatever it is, it was a little too rich for my taste, but the cake itself is absolutely fantastic. I it was it. too rich? Wait, well, so look, the icing is part of the cake. If you get a cake and you don't like the icing, you're like, this cake doesn't work for me. That hurts the cake. That destroys it. I mean, if I'm doing the fucking judging... Show, if I got called in to be like a baker's judge, I'd be like, I'm sorry. Um, the icing doesn't work for me. You You're right. did not yeah. cut the cake. I would send that person. <laughs> what was the issue with the icing? Uh, just a very, very, very rich and very, you know, left, you know, obviously I was eating with my hands. And Why like, not get oh, a That was another thing. Why not get a fork? And why use a serrated steak knife to cut your cake? You should use a flat. What, the, what edge difference does a cake. goddamn make also, about a big it knife? Makes all Jesus, the difference. Mary and Joseph. Why can't I cut my cake the way I want to cut it? Because my look cake? what because happens. It's, <laughs> why not? Correct way. So, I open up That's the cake. It's a mess. Okay, I didn't do that. No, I just. When you get a maybe bowl, it wasn't meant to go in the freezer. It. I did. Was it an ice cream it. cake? I no, enjoyed here's, the cake. Yeah, why would you throw much. it in the freezer? Why not just like put it out so that it would be unfrozen when you attempted to cut it? Also, Earl, unless I'm wrong, you said, and you're all alone, you said, I'll cut a small piece for everyone. <laughs> now, do you see people that for everyone, don't everyone see? Watching, for everyone watching, that's what I have to say. How's that? Not getting any individual here. viewer of How? your... A Each boxing? person I, I, is I, going. I, I was gonna put my words right. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 uh, I just got it all wrong. But once again, I enjoyed. But the if you cake. got that wrong, and you Chris... probably messed up the cake too, or yeah. that's okay. I, you fucking took the cake. You shook it. You're mad about I, everything. I didn't, I didn't shake it. Fez is fucking on to you. He knows you fucking what you've owe been Fez up to. two grand. Like you're fucked up, dude. Use a serrated knife to just tear through the cake. That's not the way you cut a cake. I guess I just wanted a piece of cake, Chris. Stop busting my balls, okay? I wanted a piece How of about, cake. That's what I want. I wanted the cake. I enjoyed the cake. 
Thank you for the goddamn cake, all right? I don't want to thank you like that. you satisfied, Chris. You got to thank you. And you bled him to say thank you. Thank for you this for probably the goddamn very inexpensive cake. cake that you got him, right? I mean, it was, it was quite expensive. After he went and cut a small piece for all of us. We all got a small get, piece. I didn't get no taste of that cake, all right? And you know what? I like Cheez-Its, too. Not to the extent the oh, fucking Earl that. does. Yeah, I enjoy Cheez-Its. But no, I don't order Cheez-Its for me. I order Cheez-Its for Earl. And I get fucking slapped around like a fucking I, dirty I, asshole. I, I didn't you slap you. Were, I slapped you. Yes. <laughs> no, let's stop for a Nobody second. Does. No one slaps around a dirty asshole. That would be weird, Chris. Second, <laughs> it's Earl's cake. Nobody's you bought it for him. If he wants to destroy it, fucking hammer it with a fucking I, I, dull knife. Step on it. Rub his nuts on it. That's his business. Yeah. He can have his cake and eat it too if he wants. How? I, How can you was, have the cake yeah, and eat sure. it? He was <laughs> eating it with his hands. That's like if I got him a bowl of soup and he just cupped his hands and poured it into his oh, hands. Oh, that's and drank disgusting. It out of his hands. Like, it's just like I get you something beautiful for a hundred years did. of Cheez-Its, dude. Okay? And then you fucking shit did all over I, it did, with did your I butt. Not only that, but did you I know not. how few people are going <laughs> to get this cake? You know what it's I mean? out. No more. Mm. There was like seven of them. I got one of them for Earl. And it did turned I, into or, a nightmare. It turned into a Did I or did I not say I enjoyed the cake? I didn't. I don't recall that. Earl. I heard you, you just said thanks <laughs> for the goddamn cake. Yeah, yeah, I cut cake the way I want to cut cake. Sure, I cut right through the box and then sliced the cake with it. That's part of the fun. You're fucked up, man. And you have this new show, Earl's Unboxings, and you're fucking throwing it in all our faces. I just thought of something. I said I said the thing to these performers that Chris would have liked to get from Earl. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's something. it. That's what you've you're been yearning for. A hundred percent right, Ron. Earl has done nothing like that for me because he takes me for granted. He doesn't like me and he fucking treats me like an asshole. All right. He treats me like a fucking bitch. And I keep going back Like a back dirty to asshole. Him. He slaps but you he, around like yeah, a dirty he asshole. He slaps you around like one does with a dirty asshole, I guess. Are you happy about this? Or are you happy you've hurt my feelings? Because I'm not happy about uh, hurt your feelings. Chris. Which I rarely do. One more time. The cake was fantastic. I hey, enjoyed it. Hey, Earl, can I help you with something? One more time is not the thing to say. Also, it has nothing to do with the actual cake. It's the thought behind the cake. Just like yeah. Vito saying, I called you to thank you. The, the point was, he was like, oh my God, my coworkers appreciate me. They see what I'm doing, going over and above during this pandemic. And they're making sure that like, the food doesn't matter. He has food. It's yeah. that we're thinking of you. Chris thought of you. And you destroyed the cake, which is kind of funny because <laughs> I know that it's not. when Opie stomped on the homeless cake, I remember oh, how right. fucking hard you laughed at that. And you learned from that, Earl. Yeah. That's probably yeah. what and I didn't realize. And somebody said that you even spit on that man's shoes. So I get it. You know what I mean? I'm all part of it. I get fun. You know what I mean? I'm not. Believe me, I'm not some aging fucking millennial that doesn't get what the zoomers are doing mm. you know i don't understand millennial them. that's okay, me. i'm with the zoomers a hundred fucking percent okay and Wish that's cap earl that's fucking <laughs> cap now what does that mean i know it sounds sus but it's fucking cap You see, Earl, that explained to you that you're just talking down to me by saying, one more time, stupid, I like the cake. That's what you're fucking saying to me. I've heard you say you liked your precious fucking cake, okay? But no, you're not thankful. That's it. And the only time you said thank you was in a fit of fucking black Earl anger. He has every right to be angry. He got fucking busted yesterday for the two Gs. But don't take it he out had on the stand, perfect man. crime, and Vito brought up something that... Right away, you know it was going to shed a light on you, Earl. Yes, and then, and, and I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I actually brought up the fact that I, I did this. I, I, I've owned up to this. But now with you who? Didn't. Fez called. Yes. Fez called and told us. You didn't own up to it. 
You said you owed money to someone. And exactly. then Fez called. You are so easy on yourself, Earl, which is fine okay. with me. But what you are saying, you're defending yourself in the indefensible way. I'm not saying it's the I, I'm going to think that I'm, I'm feeling horrible about it. I still feel horrible about it. I still want to pay the man back. Why didn't you take care of him? You only wanted to pay him back because he called. That's it. He's At no grand. point in the 17 years did you even contact him. <laughs> in 17 years. And now you're fucking telling us that you're a stand-up guy. And I'm the <laughs> one taking the full brunt of the fucking heat that's coming in from the listeners. You're yeah. fucking blaming me. They're like, Fez is your friend. Why don't you defend him? <laughs> Look, I go... I, I would, I would have fucking slapped that money out of his hand if I would have seen it at the time. Fez purposely didn't tell me he was throwing money down a fucking turlet. <laughs> and, and, I, and I feel horrible that then let, the listeners to, stop picking on Ronnie B. Stop, leave him alone. Too late. He has nothing to do with fault. this. This is what you've done, fault. Earl. This is what you've done. Okay. You fucking yeah. All right. Can I tell you something else, Earl? When you act like, um. <laughs> Stop picking on Ronnie B. Look at this. Here's a fucking UPS driver who just sent us a thing. It's uh, Brad that just says, fuck you. We have now alienated the fucking UPS drivers who are being blamed on something when these guys have worked through the entire pandemic yeah. pre getting any kind of fucking shots. Pre. Oh God, this is embarrassing. Brad, Brad I would I'm, just like to say, uh, yeah, and we appreciate everything that you've done yes. through this entire trying time. And you've made a lot of money for Amazon. A lot of money. You should be proud of that. The reason why that uniform is brown, they are shit. The customer service oh, line is shit. Why are you saying that, Earl? Why are you saying that? Because they always screw up my deliveries. Every single What deliveries time. do you get? Your Cheez-Its? Unless blonde. they're for me, you're not getting any. <laughs> what deliveries are you getting, Earl? They have screwed up deliveries for my parents. They have screwed up deliveries for me as far as just like small things that I've Don't needed. Don't fight their battles from, them. Look, look uh, how I, he's going to have his way. Small things that I've needed. He wants to make sure that we don't know what kind of electronics he's getting delivered because Why he owes the two grand? G's out. And then fucking he... Can I tell you this? Uh, because, since the pandemic started, I get my cigars delivered. It's always UPS. This week and the last time that I ordered cigars, they got here a day earlier. Sick. Thanks to the great men and women and brown you know Love what i mean that. and i will say this i'm down with the brown <laughs> the only thing earl's getting delivered is fucking issues of maxim magazine i don't even know how that's fucking possible holy crap fucking younger than uh, you here, dick here's uh trisha in dc hey there can you guys hey. hear me yeah hey so I would like to give a list of um, do's and don'ts to Earl about what is appropriate and what is not. Okay. Please this lecture. is a basic SOP for any human being who's a decent person, but one, when someone sends you a gift, you have to say thank you. Two, if someone sends you a gift, you cannot complain about one thing about it. It doesn't matter if the whole thing was shattered. You can't make a You're single right. complaint about it or the packaging or those people who delivered it. You just have to say thank you. And you have to do it right away. When someone, when you've, <laughs> when you've borrowed $2,000 from someone, not only do you have to pay them back, but if you don't pay them back, you cannot make other purchases. You cannot be buying equipment. And the fact that you just mentioned all these packages that are coming to you from UPS, when you were just caught yesterday, not having paid yeah. back says for 17 years, it is so infuriating that I just feel like you have to give him a list of what he can do and what he can't because this is <clears throat> unacceptable behavior for an adult. Another thing that you have you're to right. do, if you're paid at a job, 
you need to show up, especially if it's an on-air job that we've listened to for a year and you were gone for practically half of it. I can't believe how much advantage you're taking of all these people who care about you. Trish, you need to clean the Trish, number one, you need to clean the wax out of your ears for starters. Number one, the first thing I did was... I feel bad, any of that. It's so slimy and sleazy. You need to go, Mm -hmm. forget being a Christian, you just need to learn how to be a good person. Number one, Trish, number one, you should, number one, the first part of being a listener is listening. First thing I did... I didn't complain about Chris sending me the package. I complained the way it was delivered. It was delivered exactly. poorly. But if she I, said, I, if you make... You're not allowed to do that. I, 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 was a, I appreciate that. it. Look, look, I will go on record. I'm going on record right now. Chris, thank you very much for sending me this package. Too late. Too late. Too late. Thank you. Too late. Too late. Too late. No, first you're complaining about me. And then you're oh like, and number two, you're like, I'm like, a, like just like a whirling dervish. You're like nails oh. on a chalkboard. Please whirling shut dervish. up and listen for a second. This is what you're hey, doing. Stop you're and listen for a minute. You, you, had your, you had your forum. Crazy. Now let me retort, please. Number oh, one. And then I said, I, I, I was upset about you. Bro, oh, you seem like a misogynist right now. It's Not like you all. never, yeah. you didn't get mad at me this way at me or Chris, but if a woman ever tells you anything, you get very, very angry. I was concerned about Please, that sound. You. He was yeah. mocking Chris, yeah. Trish, and she doesn't sound like that, by the way. So, and, and number number two, I said on record, I felt bad I'm about this. everything. And about, about paying the money About back. the cake? And I offered to pay it back. I, that offer is still What do you mean you table. offered to pay it back? <laughs> It's seven years. I want to. I want to pay it back right now. I will do it right now. Why are you numbering everything clean, after you got mad at her for numbering everything? Yeah. Do you feel like that makes you a good person? That after seventeen years, when this thing comes out, <laughs> never said I was a good person. I said I felt horrible about it. And it came out publicly. It. It's not like yeah. I said. You know, I, bought, even I said I feel horrible about it, and I still do. I, st- I still I feel miserable about this. I hate seeing fans get upset. I, I it, 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 he did not get upset. He not, fucking just figured that happened to him. He did not no, I, I, get I, angry. That's true. He, he was wasn't even furious. sad. He just said, I "Here's the thing I, that happened." And can I tell you, if you would listen to Trisha, I think you would have learned something here today about being a person. She tried and to help you. Trying, you act like a, she had a screechy trying to voice. Be a person, and trying to be a, a good person. Trying to do the right goddamn thing. I'm trying to make this right. I Did really am trying to make it right. I'm trying to be. Did and you and that Trisha makes had them, any good them, points? If I had, it's like me you're trying to be a good person. You know, a, you know a damn thing about me, Trish. Zero. So how dare well, this you is try what to she talk knows. down to me? Uh, again, because it's a woman. You know what I mean? He's not saying it to me. He's not saying it to Chris. We've all mm-hmm. said that. Actually, even Vito yesterday said, you're just a bad person. And he said that also without anger. He just labeled you that. Now, here's the thing, Earl. You're like missing the point. And that's what Trisha tried to point out to you. The point, the point that Trisha was trying to, and at four points, ugh, die, stop. Oh, my God. Earl, oh my don't God. wish death okay. on people, dude. <laughs> Please. You hate UPS, you hate Trisha, you won't give me a thank you, and your thank you after a half hour of berating you, that meant fucking less than nothing to me, okay, Chris. bro? Because Chris, that me means nothing. <laughs> Do you hear me young into you? Uh, uh, Chris. Thank you very much. Yeah, Earl. Yeah. Thank you for the cheeses. Thank you for the kids. Now, Chris, I'm going to ask you something. When you say bro, is that short for brother? Yeah, that's short for brother, Ron. But what's the hurry? Why don't you just say brother? And do you honestly see Earl as your brother? My brother, my work, he's my work brother, okay? That's what he is. And I love Earl. Like, despite him fucking me over constantly and i keep going back to the well of fucks right and then i i pull i pull up some fucking fucks and i get fucked over because it's a well i don't want to dissect all. every little thing but it's just something that's staying with me so i'm just gonna throw it out there yeah i've never heard somebody say the first part of being a listener is listening it's kind of interesting me neither so it's true yeah um now 
Let's go to Timmy in Maine. Timmy in Maine. Perhaps this will help, bro. Yo, Ronnie, a buck 380, bro. Uh, I just don't you. know what's going on. I'm looking at the label there. I'm in the delivery business. Uh, it looks like mm-hmm. FedEx label. So it looks like he's all over the place again. It doesn't even look like UPS, my man. Wow. Earl. You could have even blamed the wrong Was that group. a FedEx by mistake? It was a UPS product. It was a UPS How do you know? It was, it was the barcode. It says it on the barcode. I don't know. Did they come all the way up to your place on the 10th floor? Yeah, and that's the other thing about it. Here's my other beef with UPS. They're supposed to knock on the door. I've, I've had situations where in the past where they have I have waited all day for a package. They said, well, we went to the door and knocked. I'm like, well, I was in the, I was pretty much by the door and no one knocked. And then they went, well, they will lie through your, their teeth, telling you they knocked on the door, and then they're like, "Well, he actually did. He actually missed your building. He's coming back." Well, he. I was like, "So you went from he knocked on my door and I didn't hear it." So he, wait, he wasn't even. Let, near let, the let building. me get this straight, Earl. Just so everybody on the show understands, are you saying that you demand competence from people when they are working? Can you imagine if you were held to that? No, but don't say no. don't say you knocked on the door and didn't when you when you clearly did not. Do so you you're saying that? don't lie, <laughs> even if yes. it's a lie of omission. No, if you're saying you understand you're what we're, me, you understand what we're going through. Yeah, right? no, I, I understand completely where you're going. But if you're gonna, but don't say to me, right. don't knock on the door. Hey, Can I tell? Door, no all right, let, let me then, say something. Let me say something to you. All. So the other night you you did your prep thing for GPS. And I wrote back to you and I go, I don't get the flow. And then I never heard back from you again. And it's been days. And I know we're going to go up to the last moment, like we always do, and feel like we could have done better, like we always do. Um, Here's here's a buddy of ours. uh, Ezra wants to help you, Earl. Hey, Earl. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you fine. Are you going to fight with me? Boy, I, I don't have any... What, you want to fight? Hey, you want one? Let's go. No, nah, hey, yo. Every woman that calls, you fight with. Are you going to fight Let's with go. me? Let's go. You're Let's talking. go. I'm right on. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Me? I'm Let's right go. here. I'm right here. You, you're, you're, you're Bro, right you have Let's never, go. ever been here. You have never, ever Let's been go. there. Melanie calls you all, all, all the time. Talk right now. Empty talk. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you show. you just talked about people <laughs> not listening. Bruh, you shut off all the time. All the time. Like, all yes, the time. Sometimes people I People try listen. to talk to you, part and listening. you shut off. All you do is you're shutting off right now. Homegirl was li- just trying yes, to Yes, because I'm listening to you rebel doing your thing. zero points. Bruh, you're not I making blew a point. your ass out. Why are you, why are you, you, you say, all, man, let's, you're going to fight me? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fight you. If you're going to fight me, you're going to take a swing at me. Bro, take a swing at me. I, I will wreck it's your shit. It's not a swing, girl. We're no, on the phone. No, there's no, no one's going to swing anyone. Uh, but it is good and, to and, know and by that the way, Garrett, women Garrett? and allies of women are... <laughs> are both yeah. going to be and, attacked. And, so if you're an ally to a woman, you're also in the shit show with him. By the way, Gail, you're wrong about that pepperoni thing yesterday. I can't eat it with you on that. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. Damn it. Well, I, I'm fuck? so dumb with Say you. Say that to my Gail. face, Ezra. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, Ezra, do you ever get emails back from me? Because I send you emails. <laughs> Then you don't respond to them. And it's a very, very weird thing. I'll just get a new one. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks a lot. Earl. Bye, Ezra. Ezra is a, yeah. Earl, Ezra is a friend of the show. He was just trying to help you like Trisha was trying to help you. Everyone's well, trying to help also you. a friend and a listener. Well, the first question is, are you going to fight me? And I'm like, okay, let's fight then if you want to fight. He Jeez, meant so. the dis- proportionate way you respond to men versus women that was what he was referencing that's why he said it yes I, it's hopefully appropriately but i was like hey if you want like, you can come at me like that 
I understand. Earl, do you know what the opposite of woke is? Is asleep. Yes. That's when you're not even aware that you're doing the things that you're doing. Like you've been asleep for 17 years with Fez. Then we woke you up and you started screaming at us that you're trying to make it right. <laughs> and I still do. I still want to make I How do you? The, yeah, of course you do. You're caught. Earl, you've wound you're up caught. Yeah, you didn't right. want to make it right yeah, what, six I months ago, 12 months ago. A, eight, what was the mistake? I made a very bad mistake. For 17 years? To, but do you feel like you made the mistake every day for 17 years? It has bothered me for this long. It really has. And you know, I'm you know who you didn't bother? You didn't bother Fez. And can I just tell you something about Fez? He ate it like a fucking guy will do when there's somebody that he likes. Like instead of holding it, and I know. Fez has had arguments with you. I know he's been mad at you before. And he never brought up the two grand. You know why? Probably shame. Probably the shame of this situation. And and I don't want him to feel this. You feel you treat shame. well no, it's not that you don't want him to. I'm telling you that he has. You treated him the way Chris has treated his college since he graduated. That's right. Paying back nothing after he guaranteed that he would. Hoping that Biden will come in and strike all this stuff down and yep. just say no one has to pay for college. That's right. It's done. And guess, and guess what? Much like Earl, I've never thought about it ever since the day I got the boot from SUNY Purchase. I haven't thought about it. Just like Earl hasn't thought about it. The only time Earl thought about it was in the last 23 hours. That's his giant fucking albatross around his neck. Can I tell you something? That cake did look like shit, Chris. And I think if the cake would have came through and been nice and you would have done something nice for Earl, it may have turned him around. I think if Earl hadn't shaken the fucking box up like it was a magic eight ball, it would have been fucking totally fine. And had dug through it with a fucking serrated steak knife and then ate it with his hands. But I guess that doesn't matter. I guess it's my fault because I don't have a fucking mind meld with Earl Douglas. Chris, I never blamed you. Never. Here's John. Here's John in New Jersey. You mean Eric? Okay, Eric. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, Earl. You keep saying you want to make things right. Why don't you just pick up your checkbook, write a check to Earl uh, to Fez now, and mail it to him? Then things would be right. Here's the thing: like he was, I don't even know if Fez even wants to look at him right now. And I'm being totally honest with that. I thought it was interesting that Earl Earl went for his um, pocket, but who keeps their checkbook in their pocket? No, I, I, I was I was going to reach my um, my my. Here. My ATM card, I, whatever it takes. But he can't I take that. I mean. but, but you're saying that as if you didn't have the opportunity to do the same thing every day for 17 years. That's the thing that you refuse to believe. And I've, I've owned up to that. I've said I made. Oh, my very, God. Very he believes that he's owned up to something that he did every day I'm for not, 17 I, I'm years. In, I'm even though nothing has happened. I admit it. You know what? Then you deserve another cake. You fucking admit it that you burn him for two grand. Chris, get him another cake and make this one even better. Okay. What kind of other specialty cakes do they have there? I mean, I can look. I think we're going to get the same result. Yeah. Why don't we do this? Why don't we get a hold of Mike at Molly's? Say we want to do an Earl Douglas cupcake where you eat it and then you eventually get it's, you don't have to pay until 17 years later when somebody calls you out on it. That'll be the Earl Douglas cupcake. You just eat it and then you go home and you just forget that you ever <laughs> had made a purchase. That's what you want, Earl, isn't it? Also, Fez told me what he used that money for. What? Crack. He oh. smoked crack with that. And Girl. guess what? He had never smoked crack much. before, but decided he went 
$2,000 worth. And why? Because he saw, do I mean, he saw New Jack City and he decided that he was fucking Nino Brown, the man that he tries to dress like. Oh, you're diabolical. Um, Jason, Wyoming. Um, Earl, do you think that 2% interest is a fair interest rate on a loan between friends? It's very low. It's very low. Very. Well, if you do the math, uh, 2% of $2,000 is $40. You multiply that times 12 and then multiply that times 17. And with the original loan, you owe him more than $10,000. And if that if that's what I need to do to make this right, I will pay him the ten grand. Yeah, of course. You don't even care if it's a hundred thousand because he still isn't getting it. He could just say ten million dollars, and you'd say, "Yeah." If he if he pays him ten, does that take at least some of the weight off of BL and and her loan? <laughs> BL told him to shove that up his virgin ass. <laughs> She, went, and she has a different way, approach than you are. She went right for the fucking thing. Oh, and a lot of people asked me about um, the 10 grand. Why did Fez give 10 grand? And he did not. But here's what happened. I don't even know. If, have I ever told you guys this story before? No, I've no. heard it. No. No. So uh, back when I was doing the Ron and Ron show, we kind of did a spinoff show with BL and a couple of the Hooters girls, right? And I forgot we called it Hooters on the radio or something like that. And the listeners were showing up and we were kind of, you know, we did our show and then they would be the next show. But they had never done radio before. So then I said, and Fez was our producer in those days. I said, why don't you take Fez for... I don't know, the first hour, the second hour, whatever, and he'll carry the show for you guys. So he went on, and it was Fez and girls, and it was fucking, all of a sudden it exploded. I mean, it mm -hmm. was really fucking good, and it was really funny and silly and the whole fucking nine yards, and it was really working. And um, so, um, now, it was one of those things, like, we got to put in that slot. We were almost like what the Carson show did with letterman or letterman did with the show after him like you know this is our show and we right. get to say who goes in it and what happens there that was part of our deal um what we didn't know is this production company approached them and said we would like to give you a holding deal and we'll give everybody 10 grand a piece they did not include fez nor tell him Wow. Oh, shit. They never mentioned yeah. it to him? Never mentioned it to him, never did anything with it. And then I think at a certain point, they said, well, our option, wrote, you know, rolled out of that deal. And that's how Fez found out about it, like years later. Like we were optioned this. They were basically put on hold so right. they could go around. But for whatever reason, they didn't want the gay guy there. <sighs> Mm, right. The fat, wow. hairy, gay guy was not included with the pretty blondes. Yeah. And to this day, just like Earl, BL doesn't get what she did wrong. <laughs> and I'm saying this, and I don't mean this even in a disparaging way. It didn't work without Fez. Right. Uh -huh. I'm right. saying yeah. that as a guy who's set to show up. It would have been my failure if I didn't move Fez over. And he went over after doing a fucking morning show where he produced and produced hard. And then I think he might have taken a nap and then went in and did the other show. <laughs> I think that's how we did it. But that thing is why Fez doesn't talk to her. Understandable. Wow. Now, Earl, do you get that? Yes. I understand. But you don't get but your thing. I, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I did a very horrible thing. I know this. 
I'm owning up to it. I'm completely admitting that. And I'm sorry. I'm terribly, terribly, terribly sorry. And Dave in Tennessee. Dave, you're on the Bennington Show. Did Earl not realize when he got the $2,000 stimulus that he owed $2,000 to Fed? It's kind of weird. That's interesting. The stimmy. Yeah. Yes, I, he, I did get... Could I you have did, given did, him your stimmy? I could have given him a stimulus check, but then there were other factors that kicked in that I did not foresee. But did you think particular- about it? That's what I'm curious about. Like, how much have you really tr- trying us? to trying to clear out anything that I owe is always on my mind. Always. I can't believe this pandemic's lasted for 17 years. This is fucking really terrible. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that joke was about as good as that cake. Oh, 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 he admits sucks, it. Dude. You are he grateful. He admits it. The cake fucking sucks. You motherfucker. <laughs> You're just a liar. <laughs> piece of shit. Yes, Ron. That fucking uh, joke of yours was as shitty yeah. as your fucking cake. Your supposedly <laughs> one of a kind cake. Earl, finally the you, truth, Earl. You motherfucker. You see? There we go. More lies from the fucking Chris, liar. How Earl, could yes, Cheetos Ron. in a fucking cake taste good? That sounds <laughs> fucking likes, disgusting. He, with fondant I would on. Get it. Come I on. I wouldn't get it. Earl that sounds like poison. <laughs> Earl loves Cheez Its. That's why I got it for. Motherfucker loves anything Cheez It. Earl, who else do you owe money to that you just said whenever money comes up, you think of the debts you have? How many no, people? He, I mean, can you imagine this fucking guy? Wow. How many times he's on the arm? Um, all right, this is everybody sending this stuff. Um, Liz says, should have saved that cake for Earl's birthday coming up. Um, still shocks me that we share a birthday. We couldn't be more different. When's the birthday, Earl? Uh, May 28th. Yeah, let's do something great for him. Yeah. Let's um, maybe a trip. Where would you like to go, Earl? For your birthday. Cheese Factory. Come Wait, on, when's Chris. your birthday? You already sent him one shitty fucking cake. Uh, You're off. Uh, May, fucking birthday. May 28th. Oh, I think May 28th. 20th. I think said I was May like, that's 20th today. a minute ago. And that's today. I was like, wait, that's today. Where do you want to go, dude? Why did you say your birthday was May 20th? <laughs> no, it's, well, like um, like all of my handles on social media it says 528. That would have not been true. So why did you say the, the 20th? No, yeah, I said the 28th. I you were saying it was today. Everything on social media must be true. So thank you, Earl. Uh -uh. (laughs) It's it's, it's in my name. Why didn't you listen to Trisha? I bet if you would have just listened to her, things would have went easier for you. I'd rather jump in front of a moving subway train. It's a woman telling him that. That's why he hates it. He's a fucking woman hater. I love women, Chris. No, you don't. It's not that woman. They sleep with them. That's what you say about every woman that you end up talking about. (laughs) Yeah, I just saw your thing where you said Earl has uh, home security footage of your cake delivery. (laughs) Let me give that a like. There you go. You are always on my mind. Well, Earl, I hope you enjoyed your cake, even though it sucked. And um, the 528, I think we're going to make that fucking big for you. Filled with surprises. The cake was the cake was what it was, and thank you, Ronnie, for making me looking at my birthday. <laughs> it was what it was. You, it was what it was. Rod. There's nothing we can do about it. You There's nothing we can do right about it, Chris. I thought he was very generous when he said that. It was what it was. It's not about whether or not the cake was good or not. It's whether it's that I fucking got up early. I was up at noon <laughs> fucking buying that fucking cake for you. 
Really? No, he, he got up at this. noon to buy a, a cake. Wow, yeah. I, got, I had yeah. no idea. <laughs> yeah, and can I tell you something? I don't think Fez needs that two grand because he's retired and has doctors' fucking appointments every single day. Oh, every wow. day I text him, "What's going on? I'm at the doctors. Just got out of the doctors. Here I am at the doctors. Doctor says my heart doesn't work very good." Doctor no. said I'm going to have to get a lot more heart stuff done. Oh, fuck. That's his I'll life, go, Hey, bro. man, are you watching this Bucks game? Trying. Just that my heart keeps fucking stopping, so struggling with it a little bit. Supposed to have another operation, but that costs $2,000. <laughs> Where am I supposed to get bro, that? It could be you. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Chris, were you up early or were you still up late? That's the big question about you. <laughs> I don't think I need to answer that question. It's list, I was conscious at noon on goldbelly.com, waiting, waiting yeah. for that thing to go live. And now oh, I can't so get it anymore. It, Gone. it went... It went live and you had to go rushing in to be one of the lucky people who got a yes. Cheetos cake. <laughs> yes. That's really I, fucking sweet. Yeah. Aww. And this is what I get in fucking return. I get my fucking dick fucking cut off by Earl Douglas. Really? <laughs> no, he's playing hacky good. sack with it. Chris? <laughs> and there's a severed First dick all, flying between his feet. It would make feet. more sense if it was playing hacky sack with your balls. I mean, no one can play <laughs> hacky sack with your dick. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> Earl, uh, Sick write, fucking... writes this. Real Stan Man 42069 really sounds like his feelings are generally hurt today. Shame on you, Earl. You know what? I'll say this about Earl. I congratulate him because he's he's telling it like it is. You know what I'm saying? There he's is giving a you to it. Yeah. He's giving us all the three one one. Is that the correct uh, thing that I said? The three one one. Yeah. He's you know. He's laying it on the line. I'm going to tell you right person. now, I don't think I could eat one slice of this fucking Cheetos cake. No. It sounds horrible. I could tell. It sounds like a popcorn I could tell by his, fucking cake. I could tell by his face when he ate the Cheeto covered in the icing that he was like, mmm, but I could see that he was mm, struggling. This thanks. It's always, making me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> making me sneeze. That <laughs> sneeze was perfect. <sighs> I'll tell you Disgusting. this, I'm looking over on Instagram, a lot of people on our side with this. What? Yeah, a lot of people backing him up 100%. I'm surprised. I never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> Earl's just on top of the fucking mountain. All right, I just got a message from Fez. He says, Earl can't own up to something he's already been count on, called out on. It's like Bernie Madoff saying, I wanted to pay everyone back after he was already in prison. Look, Fez, 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 I, Fez, I know you're listening. You're, I, now you sound like you're talking down to him, saying this. I'm not talking to, down to and him. I also, love Fez. Can I tell you something? I think you would have been happy if Fez would have died from that last heart attack. Because then you, you have could have clear? said, I am out of this. I would feel miserable if Fez died. I would be inconsolable. But I, I really, really, sincerely feel bad. And, right. Can and I, I tell you something? One time when I was a kid, I got busted with drugs, selling drugs. I was under 18 at the time. The drug dealer wanted me to pay the money back. And I go, for what? And he goes, you had my drugs. And I said to him, I go, that's funny. The cops thought that they were my drugs. Here I am going to court. And there were your drugs. You know what I mean? Because I felt like mm -hmm. he should take the fucking loss, not me. Of course. Well, he stayed out of the way until... My little fucking underage probation was over. Then he was back looking for drugs and it got, I mean, for money and it got a little ugly. And then Earl, something finally went my way. 
he died. And that, for me, was a great day. And I remember laughing, saying, I ought to throw some fucking money in that fucking grave with him and see how much he wants it now. So I get you, Earl. You yeah. see fucking You guys Fez. are a lot alike. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing was this. Why do I want to pay you for something that I get arrested for? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. You could get arrested if you'd like. And then I'll give you the money. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it's exactly right. I was really proud of that. I mean, I was like 16 when I said to him, oh, those were your drugs. See, the police think that they're my drugs. That's why I'm in trouble. But if I let them know that it's your drugs, I'm probably out of this. Um, Garrett and Mass, Garrett. To say, if, you, if someone loans someone else money, it's not offering to pay them back. You're obligated to pay them back. I don't understand where Earl's coming from at all. Like, you're not being noble <laughs> saying that you will pay your debt. You just, well, that's what you do. Who, who said I was being noble? I said I wanted to honor my debt. That's what I want to do. I want to pay it. I want to pay it back. But he told Why? That's what why I want to do. This? I want to pay the man back. Why didn't you want to pay the ba man back a month ago, six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, two years and six months ago, three <laughs> years ago? three years and nine months ago at what point now do you get the balls to fucking scream at us that you want to pay it back ten dollars a week girl ten dollars a week you would have been done years ago years ago you don't think he would have taken a fucking tenner a week yeah he would have yes probably well, he could just come in and said himself. you know what i don't have the money right now but I'll get on my knees and lick you fucking nuts. And he would probably would have loved that. That would have been cool. Good. And then everyone would be happy. Instead, what did you do? You kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> Play that you sack with it. Not only that, I thought of this. How many times did Fez take everybody from the show out to dinner? You let oh, a guy so you owe money Very to true. pick up fucking dinner for you. Or buy lunch and bring it in for everybody on the show. You soulless fuck. Wow. I, I wouldn't have even thought of that. Did that bother you at all, Earl? Yeah, it, it, it bothers me. Look at me. It bothers 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 me. Is it's that why you leaned me. over and whispered to me, Ron, this really bothers me because I know that I'm not paying back the money and here he is picking up fucking dinner for everybody. And those were boozy dinners. Booze ain't cheap at a oh, restaurant. Oh, fuck yeah. I, I'll be honest. I got fucking drunk plenty of times. And All right, Hasp actually says this. We should send Earl to Tampa for his birthday. What a gift a clean slate would be. He could stay at BL's house. <laughs> Flight, only 272 round trip. They're still trying That's to fucking sell tickets. Cheap. 272 to Florida round trip. You get down there. And Ever been to Tampa? I've never been to Tampa. I've never been to Florida. You'd, be, you'd fit in. They're like, you wouldn't believe. None of those motherfuckers pay back. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are you worried about? Fucking Fez jumping out, hitting you in the neck with a taser. <laughs> Fucking taking you down into his <laughs> lit pit. Keeping you down there for a while. <laughs> Remember, it's been 17 years. That's how long you're staying with me, Earl. Now put your tongue out. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If, let me, let me ask you this. If Fez would have died, and he did, his heart stopped twice, not too long ago, would you have ever mentioned it to a soul? 
I would have brought it up. To who? I would have totally, totally brought it up. To who? Me? Um, Ron? To you? To, 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 to anybody who listened, because it was a very... <sighs> Earl, it, it was a you. Ge- it was a ge- it was a very generous thing, to me. and right, I, and yeah. I shit on him, and I and I feel bad about it. But you're but lying. Why yourself then would the you say that you would have brought it up when you never brought it up to us once in 17 years? No, that it seems was, like the perfect a, time to never bring it up ever. No, it, it was. No, he, he it, it was a it was a dark moment in my life that I was going through. He was very generous. 17 years out. was a dark moment because that's no, he, how long this has been. The no, moment some- is very, very quick. <laughs> and then the, the dark-, dark moment was over because he gave you a $2,000 light bulb and you put the light on and you forgot about the darkness. And you just okay. said there's a darkness on the edge of town. The moment was a bad word, period, in my life. The last 17 years has been a bad two decades. And- and, and he did, you know, he, he did a very, very kind thing, and I feel, I feel very. Here's bad. what he did: he did a fucking stupid thing, Earl. We all get it. You got him. You fucking. Got